Hey there, are you a developer or a database administrator who's ever needed to deploy a database or a set of databases to multiple instances of SQL Server? Perhaps your application supports scaling out and you need to make sure that uh, that database or that application's database is on some new instances of SQL Server. Or perhaps you're a database administrator and you've got a utility database that contains all of your scripts that you use to manage an instance and you've just built out a new environment. If so, stick around. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use Ansible and PowerShell DSC to do just that. Before we get started, let's cover the environment that we'll be using today. We've got three virtual machines, which are SRV1 and SRV2. Both of those machines are our SQL Server instances and SRV3 is serving as our Ansible control node. All three have Windows Server 2022 installed, and on SRV3, we do have Windows Subsystem for Linux installed using an Ubuntu distribution, and that's where Ansible is installed. If you need to know how to do that, I have a video walking you through that process. Next, we'll actually take a look at the two playbooks that we'll be using and also take a look at the inventory file and uh, another ancillary file called ansible.config. So here we are on SRV3 and I have Visual Studio Code installed and it is actually connected to my Ubuntu uh, distribution. On that server I have uh, several folders here and I've got these in GitHub that I'll share the link to. Uh, but Ansible-SQL Server DSC will be our focus today. In this folder, I have two child folders, Computer Management DSC and SQL Server DSC. That's where I'm going to save the DSC resources once we download those from the PowerShell gallery. Next, we'll take a quick look at Ansible.CFG, which is a config file that I have here. Uh, just setting a few defaults. So my default inventory file is going to be host.ini and then callbacks underscored enabled equals profile task. That just gives us additional information as we run that playbook. Uh, next, we'll take a look at our inventory file called host.ini. And in here, you can see that we have SQL servers. Uh, in here, you can see that we have a group defined as SQL servers, and both of these uh, servers are there, SRV1 and SRV2. This environment does use Active Directory, so both of these have been joined to the domain along with SRV3. We're setting a few variables for these uh, servers. Uh, we're going to use WinRM since we are connecting to Windows machines. We're going to ignore that cert validation and we're going to use the default, default port. And we're going to use Kerberos for the WinRM transport. And then below that we have a few settings for Kerberos. Next we're going to take a look at the playbook underscore DSC resources YML file. And this is the playbook that we're going to use to download those DSC resources from the PowerShell gallery. We're going to use Ansible's built-in module unarchive to download the SQL Server DSC resource. And then the destination we're going to save it in is in this folder. Next, we're going to do the same thing, except this time we're going to download the computer management DSC. Although we're not using it this time, uh, I do use it in other videos, so I just left it in this playbook. Next, we're going to actually switch over to the Add Database Playbook. And this is the one that we're going to use to actual, actually deploy those databases. So the first step is to import the Playbook underscore DSC resources playbook because that's going to download those DSC resources if required. Next, we're going to set up our task. So we're going to use the SQL Server host. We're going to gather facts on both of those machines and then we have two tasks to find. The first one is actually copying those DSC resources over to our target machines. And you can see here we're using with items Ansible's built-in loop capabilities. Uh, so if we wanted to copy the computer management DSC resource, we could just add it here. But we're just using a SQL Server DSC this time. And that's going to populate the item uh, variable. 
the destination where that those resources are going to reside is going to be C program files, Windows PowerShell modules on our target. Next, we're going to take a look at the a create databases task, uh, which call, which uses the windows.win underscore DSC uh, Ansible module. And then we're going to use the actual SQL database resource as the resource name. We're going to ensure that those databases exist. And then here again, we're going to use a loop uh, with items. We're going to provide this value at runtime on the on the in the terminal window. So the value is the parameter that we're using is rl underscore ms sql underscore database underscore list dot split. We're going to split that list on the comma so we can create multiple databases at once. The SQL database resource is going to connect to the local host. DSC will be running on our target, but connecting to itself using this uh, resource. A little confusing, but after you've done it a, a couple of times, you, you get the gist of it. The instance name we're going to provide at runtime as well using the RL MS SQL instance name. In this case, it's going to be the MS SQL server uh, because it is the default instance. And then we're going to switch the owner of those databases to the SA account using this parameter. So let's go ahead and jump into WSL. And I've already changed the directory to ansible-sql server DSC. But before we run this playbook, I do want to show you Management Studio and that those databases do not currently exist on either instance. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we're going to run the playbook. So we're going to call ansible-playbook, provide the playbook name, and then we're going to use the extra vars attribute and provide all of our variables that you saw in that playbook. RL underscore MS SQL instance name is going to be MS SQL server because these are default instances. RL MS SQL SA name, we're going to notice the quotes there. Uh, if you don't add the quotes, this doesn't work. So we're going to use the SA account. And then RL underscore MS SQL database underscore list. We're actually going to create two databases on both of these instances. It's going to be the DBA util database and then one called my app. Next, I'm going to provide my credentials, my domain credentials, uh, the dash u, uh, does that luke at homelab.local, and then we're going to, uh, Ansible is going to prompt us for the password for that account. So let's go ahead and run it. First step is to download those DSC resources. I've already done that, so you won't see any changes there. Ansible just says everything's okay and no changes tracked. Uh, You'll notice that changes whenever we get down here to the create databases task. And now Ansible should be creating those databases. We can see that Ansible did report there was a change and that's because it created that those databases on both of those instances. And we can see that that took about 10 seconds. So let's go ahead and jump back into management studio and refresh. And now we can see our databases. Those the data and log file for those databases will reside in the default locations that's configured for that specific instance. You can see here E and F, and then the owner has been switched to SA. So pretty quick and painless. Uh, you can see how Powerful this would be if you had multiple SQL Server instances you wanted to set up. Uh, perhaps you would add this actual these tasks to a MS SQL role uh, that you could use as part of your installation or even configure it later. Uh, if you run this playbook again, nothing will happen because it is item potent. So it won't. If those databases do exist, nothing will happen. Uh, of course, these databases aren't really useful right now because they don't have a schema or or anything's been done to them. But in, our, in my next video, I'll show you how to use another PowerShell DSC resource uh, along with Ansible to deploy a uh, set of scripts or a schema to uh, the databases. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you'd, if you'd like this content. And let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see uh, done with Ansible and SQL Server. Yep. Thanks for uh, stopping by.